We're back. V2 finale <laughs> three. Three. I know. Can you believe three years already? I know. And it's uh, it's amazing. Crazy. Anyway, uh, Fritz Braun, Drew Rutherford going to face off. Hmm. So That's this is day one. one of the V2 finale, the third one. And yeah. uh, the uh, so you guys know we invite 32 TR, 32 if open. And uh, Drew and uh, Fritz are facing off. TR shooters, 1,000 yeah. yards, head-to-head -head competition, 15 shots each. And what else you, what else you got, John? Well, I mean, Fritz is the returning champion. So he won last year. So, you know, like you can't come to a match like this and not come with a target on your back if you won last year. So, you know, everybody's looking at Fritz because, you know, the guy just hammered it out last year. And um, what else? We got, uh, of course, amazing sponsors with Vortex and Votavori. So without them, this match wouldn't happen. So big shout out to them. And uh, I, I have to say, like, uh, no spoilers, but I just have to say, I think this was our best year ever. Oh, like, man. hands down, our best year ever. It was awesome. Anyway, yeah. uh, what can you do to help? Subscribe to the channel and like this video and share with your friends. Let's grow the viewership because, uh, you know, the sponsors, the more engagement we get, obviously, the more uh excited yeah. they're gonna get about the whole thing i'm excited already <laughs> so and i get so many people you know like I, I get messages all the time when are you gonna do more videos when are you gonna do more videos because you know it seems so simple like when we're going through it and stuff i i you know like maybe we see it a little differently but i get so many comments from people that say your videos have helped me so much because you guys point out the little nuances of what the shooters are doing what the flags are doing how it affects the impact and like I have guys that just rewatch the same video. Okay, did I see that? Did I see that? Did I see that? You know, and and so entertainment value of what we're doing. Um, you know, I do think a lot of people are getting a lot of value out of seeing a real time event with people head to head like this. So absolutely. So again, subscribe, like, and share. Let's yeah. go. Fritz goes first, and he goes up. One is a four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's probably looking at that left flag that, I mean, clearly looks like it's moving left, moving to the left, but. Well, it is, but because of that, I think he uh, gave it a little more. Yeah. You can see him adjusting his scope. Yeah. Maybe Jarrell learned something off that. <laughs> well, he gave it even more. <laughs> He goes, I see your four, I'll raise you a three. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jerry, I'm sending it. And just like that, the right side flag starting to move, starting to get some, uh, at the end of the line, down at the thousand yard, you've got a little bit of movement. But... Yeah, so the, uh, the right flags, everything's going right to left. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Centered up. V. Thank you. Come forward. All right. So Fritz takes the V. Then All Drew right. So now it's Drew right. right. Fritz is on the left. Yep. Drew's on the right. Anyway, so uh, Fritz gets a four. Huh. So now he's going the other way. Yeah, and, and I mean, the flags are a little bit all over the place. If you look down in the middle there, you can see the bottom right ones, or the middle right ones are kind of going to the right a little bit. Right close to us is kind of coming at us. Left side's going left. Yeah, conditions were tricky. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Now, this is typically not something you see, but... Uh, because this was one of the first matches of the day, they forgot to turn off the uh, the setting that shows all the shots. Yeah, so <laughs> I noticed we're gonna that. be able to see all the shots here. But again, this is the beauty about pair firing; they both have the exact same information. So, if it's uh -huh. an advantage to one, it's an advantage to both. Yeah. Wow. 
Thank you. I mean, you got the wind on it. See if, yeah, there you go, Fritz. Let's see what Drew can do here. I mean, it's tough, you know. Uh, we don't know what kind of mirage they can see out there. The flags are a little bit all over the place. And it's a thousand yards at a 10 inch circle. <laughs> That's the, yeah, that's the I'm, biggest problem. And this is where experience comes in, right? Like, I mean, this is, I mean, you can call it a guess, but it's an educated guess when, you, when you're in these situations. And you can see Drew give it a little too much. Yeah. He, uh, so Drew has hit nothing but force, including his siders. Oh. Four, five on. Thank you. No, they're definitely not seeing something out there. Well, they're they're seeing it. It just doesn't mean as much as they think it does because they're they're shooting yeah. upwind. I mean, those flags are a lot deader that than they were earlier. Yeah, just dropped off. A lot of movement on the flags mid range. See if Drew can get centered up for a five or B here. Yep. There you go. He found it. Yep. Thank you. That, that gets him right back in it though. Now he's only one point down. Yeah. He, he needed that one bad. Look at those flags right back up. Yeah. So obviously he's going to have to hold upwind again, but you know, he's been getting uh -huh. kind of killed up there you know up there he's been losing all his shots up when again another one yeah it's almost as if those flags don't mean as much as they read yeah yeah or something's canceling out there you know something's kind of offsetting their their power yeah now look at those flags down at the bottom they're going the other way oh those flags yeah. are standing up pretty good now let's see what drew's gonna do Oh, man, there you he's go. on now. Thank you. So that's it. These bees right back in it. Tied yeah, on so points. Now, now they're tied on points and bees. Yep. And that's the thing we see with this match, you know, with this pair firing. Like, you're never out till you're out. And, uh, you just got to stay in it, you know, keep your head in the game. So Fritz is definitely a little more confident now. He's got two V's in a row. Yeah. Getting a good read on it. have to wear these hats these are optional <laughs> <laughs> especially because we're undercover right <laughs> well i'm just talking about like you can wear whatever you can wear a regular ball cap you can you don't have to wear those hats uh, just anybody else, just i'm just saying anybody that wants to get into the sport yeah those are optional Looks like they're both shooting off uh, Joypod X's here. Yeah, the Seb Joypod, very popular. It's a it's a very stable bipod, but it allows you to. It has a joystick that allows you to make fine yeah. adjustments. And really quick leg adjustments for height too. It's it's a really slick system. 
So they're both, I mean, whatever it is, they both are dialed in now. Because, I mean, they're both hitting the fives and Vs. Yeah. And they're right on top of each other there. So, as you saw, it took them a little while to find it. But once they did, they're uh, they're doing well. They adjusted yeah. pretty pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, big thing at this point is the, you know, the V count. They're both just, I mean, you know, Fritz barely catches one and, and Drew barely loses one. You know, those. Well, it's a, it's those, a, those, <laughs> it shows that the gun is not as tight as it could be. Which, yeah. oh. <laughs> there, again, forget what I said. <laughs> it's, uh, I, and you know, it goes to, uh, it makes me wonder if Fritz compensated the other way. Yeah. Notice they're taking their time because those they're doing a lot more than what it appears to target. I bet you they're holding yeah. different every time. Now, for those that don't know, F class shooters they hold on target, so that center would be right in the B ring, and then the circle, the B ring circle to the right would be right one. The five would be right two, the four ring would be right three, and so on and so forth. So that's how we aim on target without having to dial the scope every time. So that's what yeah. these guys are doing. It makes for quick hold off, and uh, I bet you they're not holding the same place twice in a row. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. Oh man, four, eleven on. That one came way upwind. Yeah. You know, when you shoot those, especially in this match, you know, I, I know, like, it's 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 kind of a bummer to sit there and go, man, I shot a four. But a lot of times you shoot that and you go, man, I'm just glad I caught the four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But those flags are pretty dead now. So that's that's why he went upwind. Yeah. He missed the lit up. Oh. Ooh. Thank you. That's oh, so man. close. He moved in, but not enough. Now, the interesting part here is one of them showed like he was way off and the other one was really close. But in reality, they're about five inches from each other. Those two yeah. shots. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Whoa. Four, 12 on. <laughs> he said, what the hell? <laughs> So at this point, they're I, actually I, tied on points. Uh, you know, Drew is uh, two, two, you know, one shot behind, but he's uh, he's uh, you know, points wise, they're they're tied. Yeah, but he's running out of time to catch up on those V's. Yeah, he needs he needs to catch up on those V's. Uh oh. Oh. Not see, gonna look do at those it like flags. that. Well, look at those flags. They're going the other way now. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the second flag on the right. I mean, that's moving. Yeah. So now, earlier they were having to hold on the right side of the target. Now they're holding on the left side of the target. And with the 308, I would say they're holding about three and a half to four rings left. Yeah. That's a lot of crossover. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he caught it. Caught it. Uh, yeah. Nice catch. Oh, even Drew said nice catch. <laughs> yeah. You know, especially, you know, you look at what Drew shot, you know, like these guys know what it takes to do what they're doing. So, I mean, like you'll see people, you know, say, hey, nice shot, way to do it, you know, because they know what they just shot and they knew what it would take for that guy to make that shot. And, you know, yeah, often we know when somebody makes a good call. Oftentimes you're laying there going, man, he would have, I held right four. He'd have to hold 
you know, edge to frame to hit yeah. it. And then they hit it. And you go, man, nice shot because that's, <laughs> that's a big move. Yeah. Drew still not believing the wind out there. No. I mean, I see why. I I mean, look at those flags. They're, they're pretty dead compared to the way they were earlier, but yet he's still way off to the right. Mm hmm. So I can see why, like, I would have missed that one. It's just the flags look pretty dead. He moved in. Mm -hmm. The shot's still out there on the right. Yeah. Five, 14 on. Thank you. Yeah, Fritz has got to be feeling pretty good. I mean, he's, you know, he shot his share of fours, but he definitely had better control on this one. Well, he's ahead by two points, so that helps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And V count as well. Mm hmm. Yeah, with only one shot left, so. Man, Drew just can't find it. Yeah, well, a five or a V, and I'm I'm thinking Drew might concede here, unless he wants to take a couple practice shots that he's you know he's certainly allowed to. Yeah. Yeah, so there's no no way Drew can catch him now. No, but, you know, first match of the day, Drew's probably saying, hey, look, now I'm going to take some shots I may not have taken, or I'm going to try to read something different. You know, he's got, he's got the rounds he's allowed to take, so a smart move not conceding here. Found it. Right, so Drew, I mean, uh, Fritz wins this one. The score yeah. looks screwed up, but uh, Fritz wins. First side is a four. All right, so Fritz starts with a four now on the other side. Almost a three. <laughs> yeah, now they got to believe the flags. It's a tricky range. Now, we are using a uh, this software that we're using. Tell us about it, John. Yeah, so this is uh, still in beta form. So this is from ShotMarker. It is new pair firing software. And so part of part of what you're seeing on screen here is the fact that this was literally loaded onto the system like a day or two before we arrived. We did not have the opportunity to like practice with it with all of the competitors. So that's why once in a while you'll see them kind of, you know, stumble with it. Uh, but it's really great because, it, you know, just on screen, it's letting you see the shot separated. And it actually does three to a mound as well, which, you know, as as Eric's talked about when he goes to the world matches and stuff, uh, they do three to a mound. But, uh, you know, for our purposes, I, I think it worked out great. I was really happy with it. Adam's going to make a couple tweaks. We, we gave him after three days of shooting, we gave him a kind of a list of some stuff that we saw. And he's making a few suggested changes and um, I think we've already seen some of those changes, and I, I think it's going to be great. I, I, I think if he does this right and gets this pair firing software out there, it's going to help encourage more ranges to have pair fired matches, which I think is a good thing. I love pair firing, so. Yeah. So, Fritz just shot a five on the second sider. I'm sure he's going to take it. He hasn't accepted it on the software, and this is kind of what we're talking about. There were some yeah. things that. Uh, the shooters were having issues with but overall it's pretty good it allows us yeah. to see the scores and, on target yeah and they're recording their scores on paper which ultimately is what gets turned in um so. i have to say like uh 
neither gun seems to be like really hammering right now. Like they're, they're just just outside of being in control with some of these shots, either from reading the wind or a little bit of vertical. Now, Fritz Braun went against Luke Ramsey, uh, one of his early matches, which, uh, you know, it was a continuation from last year finale, right? They, they faced each other. And uh, Luke Ramsey actually got him. So it's, uh, it's interesting how Fritz got him in the finale last year, but now this time when they had to face again, Luke Ramsey got him. So very, yeah. very interesting. Oh. Just leaks a four out. So these guys are on the one loss side. So whoever loses is out. Wow. Drew's Drew's got it dialed now. I mean, he's that's twice right there. Yeah. And how many times do we see this where you know first match goes to you know shooter A, second match you know shooter B really seems to figure it out. I mean, we get a lot of matches uh, you know that end up going the distance. Right. These these are guys that just don't give up. Yeah. So Fritz now he's down one point. And, uh, you know, Drew's so far has got two V's in a row. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, he's really, Drew's coming out swinging. He's trying to make a statement here. Well, he needs to win this one to stay alive. Yeah. And, you know, he already had all those other Ooh. shots to figure out the win. Having said that, as you can see, it's still pretty tricky, especially with a 308. These, yeah. These are, I got to I gotta keep reminding people, these are 308 <laughs> rifles at 1,000 yards, at a 10-inch target. Yeah, so on average, you know better than I do, but on average, how much slower are they shooting theirs versus like what we shoot with our PRCs? Because we're in the 29, 30 to 60 range. What What's the average 308 coming out at? Oh. Man, I'm going to say slow. <laughs> 27, 26, 27, somewhere I in there. I was saying the 2600s. I'm not sure that they're pushing. I'm sure somebody's pushing them pretty fast, but yeah, they're pretty slow compared I mean, to what they're we running do. on average probably 400 feet slower than we run. Yeah, three to 400. Or 300 feet. Yeah. With uh, the BC on the bullets is probably slightly slower what they shoot compared mm -hmm. to what we shoot. So yeah, our ballistics are vastly higher than theirs. Yeah. Which is why I'm keep reminding people these are 308s at a thousand yards <laughs> in the wind. Yeah. Those flags are dead now. If anything, he's going to go upwind to the right. Yeah. Nope. I mean, he did slightly, uh, but he out. caught it. Slightly. So as I described earlier, we hold on, on target. So let's just say he was holding right three, which would be the, the ring on the four. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's drifting into the center. But if the, as the wind dies down, you have to move your hold in. And if you don't, it's going to hit when you're aiming and yeah if you're aiming way out there well guess what you're gonna hit way out there now look at that flag on the right it's mm -hmm. flipped now it's Thank going you. the other way so now they're gonna have to flip their hold to the other side of the center they're gonna start holding yeah. on the left side and the flag's mid-range like somewhere around 800 yards are starting to pick up to the right a little bit too there if you look at down the left side yeah so see Fritz taking his time a little bit there and he got it Seven on. Thank you. Let's see what Drew's going to do. So not only do you have to flip over, you have to figure out how much wind is there. 
Also, this is where having a very good 1,000 yard zero comes in, because if you are off, then you're going to be off center, which is going to... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at the flag on the left now. It's going the oh, other yeah. way. Oh, yeah. Like, it switched twice. So now, if he, if he was hold, holding left, he needs to hold right all over again. And he got it. Man, that, that's where a perfect win call saved him, right? Anything less than a perfect win call, and that would have been a four, because he just caught the top of that five ring. Yeah. And now, also... That's why he was taking a while to shoot, because he saw the wind coming from the left. He must have seen the switching. He wanted he wanted to wait until the switch completely before he shot. Now, Fritz gave it too much. Eight on. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. See, now the flag died down mm -hmm. <laughs> on the left. <laughs> so Drew shot when it was standing out. The flag was standing up last time, and now it's completely dead. So he needs to make a different wind call than what he did earlier. Four, six on. Yeah, it's like you said before. I mean, this the, there ain't two there ain't two holds in a row that are the same right now. Yeah, and he just saw Fritz. So that's kind of confirmation when it died down because he just saw Fritz go. Oh, up, look at that! Go up Three, wind. You. So you you can use the information on the range, and you can also use your opponent's information. That's a, you know, to verify what you're seeing. Five, nine on. And Drew's still up right now. He's up by a point. Yeah. You okay with that? Yes, I'm sorry, yes. So you see Drew there, like uh, the way pair firing works, we've talked about this before, but you know, Drew really can't shoot until Fritz confirms the call that J Drew made. So Drew did the right thing there, even though it affects him saying, you know, did you get the call? And Fritz says, yeah, sorry. And then Drew shoots. Correct. Thank you. Yeah. you see how fast Fritz followed up Drew's shot there? Yeah, because he had the wind call and he wanted to make sure yeah. nothing changed. It, look at yeah. the flags right now. They're dead. So, if I were Drew right now, I would have shot 10 seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe it's a strategy. He's Maybe he's stalling, hoping that he can still shoot in this condition. But Man, Drew's on Fritz, it. By the time Fritz shoots, that the wind is picking up again. Yeah, um, it's you got to time it just like a, it's a cycle. That that wind is cycling, and uh, well now Fritz is still gonna get to shoot in this dead calm condition. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, well that puts Drew two points up now. I mean, Drew definitely seems to have a handle on what the wind is doing now. He's taking his time, but he's making it work for him. Yeah. Uh-oh. Thank you. So he just missed one. Look at the flags down there. They're they're angling the other way. Look at this flag up here on the right. So, yeah, uh, it seems like that's what got Drew, and it just had not showed up on the flags yet. Oh, and Fritz just can't find the center anymore. No. Now this is a returning champion. Huh. Boy, that's three points now. So Drew's ahead by two points. He's, I think he's up by three points right now, isn't he? One, two, three, four, two points. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. And three Vs. So yeah. he's got a lot of points to give up. He can give up two points and still win just because of the decamp. No. Oh. V, 11 on. Thank you. Hmm. Thank 
Ooh, just wow. caught it. Just caught that one. He needed that, I mean, as much as anything. So Fritz is going to need some help here. He's going to need Drew to, to, to really make a, a couple bad calls. Or one really bad one. <laughs> or one really bad one. <laughs> I mean, look at those flags pick up to the left now. Yeah. Again, this is not an easy match. Oh, the conditions are uh, tricky. They're switchy. And uh, they're not consistent at all. So no. They're having to hold left, center, right, all over the place. There it is. Oh, Drew is not letting up. Nope. God, man, Drew. Drew's on it. Yeah. From his last seven shots, six have been have been these. Mm -hmm. He just had the one four, and then he sent her back up again. Yeah, and I mean, it's like we said. I mean, those flags are, are those flags are moving just enough to be dangerous. So I mean, you got to keep an eye on them. So Fritz is done. He dropped four points. He's got three Vs. Yeah. So Drew's got two points to give and still win. Yeah. So he's got two shots to go. Yeah, because he's got the V count too. So yeah, so he can hit just. Oh, I was gonna say fours, but now he just hit a three. Oh my god. Oh. Thank you. So he just gave up the two points that we we're talking about. So wow. right now. Right now, wow. he's ahead by V's only. He has to hit a f five. Or now it oh changes. Oh, my everything. gosh. He has to hit a five or a V. And yep. he just hit a three up there. Man, he's got to be really questioning his hold down. <laughs> oh, my goodness. God, he had two points to give, and he gave them all in one shot. Ooh. All right. Well, let's see if he learned, because that's a, that's a big learning right there. Oh, my God. Oh, and just like that. <laughs> Fritz wins. I oh, I understand. But, huh? I don't understand it. I didn't see conditions for that out there. It, it's real, actually. Is it really? I don't understand it because it should have gone the other way. Wow. Wow. Just like that. And you can hear Drew. He's like, I don't know. He goes, that that shouldn't have gone there. He goes, it 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 was real. <laughs> Dude, what a match. <laughs> That's like, uh, I mean, because you look at Drew and it was just like, boom, 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 boom. And then, yeah, like, what? wow, drops three points in two shots, you know, and like, and he had two to give and Fritz was done. Yeah. I mean, he had two to give. And like I said, you know, and all you had to do is hit the four twice, which is, I mean, he'd been hitting the five, the V he'd been hitting the V ring. More yeah. than fifty percent of the time. So Man. anyway, that's oh. that's the V two finale, right? Anything can happen. God. It's never over until it's over. And <laughs> my was, money would have been on Fritz or on uh, Drew on that one. Like if you had said, "Look, he's got two shots left," you know, like who do you got? I'd be like, "Oh man, like it's it's in the bag." Yeah, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm sure he thought the same. Yeah. And but you heard him there at the end. He said it it was real. He, it should yeah. not have went there, but it was real because he confirmed it with a with the other shot. Had, if that had been his last shot, he would not have believed it, right? Just like we didn't believe it. <laughs> but yeah. it was real, as he said. All right, well, man. <laughs> Fritz moves on. What a crazy man. match! That that was a hell of a match. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, this is how it goes. Pair fire hit the head. Anything can happen. It's never over until it's over. 
No, nope. and we got three days of this. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I appreciate it. Stay All right. In. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. Absolutely. All right. Take care. Keep them centered. All right.